slash chat real quick. Freaking mic is on top of the. What are we gonna 
gonna do? See, 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 I see. must test your abilities. Bring it on! Ready. Here is your first mission. I want to test your investigation skills. Collect ten hermit crabs. <laughs> Seen any hermit crabs in this area? You can't have flowers without bees. Chubby, do your thing. Here we go. Here we go. Leave this to me, boys. Here we go. Let's go. I'll take the lead. Here we go. Thank you! Here we go! Got it! Got it! Let's go! Level up! There may be too many of them! And be careful not to fall. Thank That's you. Now go and get the rest. Here we go. Hey. Here we go. Run, run. Let's go. Here we go. Run, run. Let's go. Why do they have me collecting hermit crabs? <laughs> Why do they have me collecting hermit crabs? One thing I did not get with Team Chaotix is that it's just so weird. 
so objective based in not getting from point A to point B. No complaints. I got scared because I thought I was gonna fall. Let's see what's up there.
impossible feat. Ultimate ninja powers. Hmm. <laughs> Ultimate ninja power. Doctor. gonna make the rev.
What was that noise? You just make. I don't know, random. Very random. Oh my god. Oh. Um. Dang. Very good. <laughs> CRT. All the way from I That actually seems really painful. But yet, then again, it would work really different on if the team is to go. games play them on TV and I don't know. Actually, I don't know. Um, when I like to play. I think it's out of two. <laughs> so, it would help to get myself one of these two things, honestly. So I might look into actually investing in the one, honestly. I don't know if there's one of them or you know. It's kind of like a Wait, right, so your mom wants to send your mom wants to send you to military? Tiki's bringing up the ID. What the? What's so bad about you living with your grandma? Like, I, that's like that's that's always like the like when it comes to like um parents, that's always the last resort. They're like, oh, well, if nothing else, go to the military. Like, what? Hmm. What for? Like what's so what's wrong with living did did your grand aunt say no? Let's go. Cause if she didn't if she didn't say no, then I don't get what's the big issue. Because you're an adult and you can do whatever you want. Bruh. Got it? Unless she's so worried about you leaving and you know she's not she's gonna have trouble paying the bills. Bruh. Boy, it doesn't look good. I'll handle it. What did I do? Here we what? go. What? 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 Oh, oh. I'll grab right back again. I forgot my stop. Looking good. Got 
Let's go. When grinding, use the X button to accelerate and the left thumbstick to balance. Can I get a follow? If only I had actually seen you with a yeah. Retro, did your grand aunt say that you can't live with her? Huh? No. Oh, well then I don't know. What she called. Is. No, she basically said, "Did I talk to my mom about it about this?" And I was like, "No." And then she like talked to your mom about this first, and I'm like, "All right." And then she's basically bringing up the like, oh, like you, like oh, you can get into like service or some crap like that, or and then basically saying, saying that oh, you need to save up your money and basically and find your own place. You can't afford a, you can't afford a place by yourself and feed yourself at the same time. That's how fucked up it, fucked up this country is now. And I'm most likely going to have to live with some. Gonna have to have a roommate and live with somebody. I'll destroy Eggman's robots one I don't know why one. she's so worried about you doing that. I'm, I, 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 but I'm pretty sure you know that that eventually you're gonna get your own place in the future. So like I don't know why she has to tell you like over 500 times to do this. And then think, oh, you're being babied, oh, you're being sheltered. Like, oh, I'm gonna just basically stay there, like, stay at my grandma's or my aunt Peach's house forever. And that's not the case. I never said that I was going to stay there forever. You're literally just, you're, you're literally just getting help. Like, it's just, I don't know. Like, like, it's not your fault that she didn't get help like that before. It's not my fault that, like, this house is in the situation that it is, that it's in, basically. Pretty much. And, and I'm not the one that brought up that the idea of moving from this, from Maryland all the way to this state, when that literally didn't change shit. I mean, moral of the story is she can't tell you can't she can't tell you what your 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 already is Like if I have to freaking if I have to leave my TV behind, I don't care. This wasn't even the TV that I wanted. If I have to sell this shit, then I would. I will. I just don't want to stay. I don't want to stay in the state anymore. And then she's basically she brings up the idea of basically asking. Like my uh, manager Angel, like, hey, like to basically ask her for a second chance, and which most likely I'm probably gonna get a no. Which I'm still asking her, but I already know I feel like I'm gonna get a no. And at this point, what was the point of moving to this state? I mean, you just got fired last night, so I'm pretty sure that's there. There's no chance at all. But yeah, I don't get the whole big issue. If your grand aunt didn't say no... She then, didn't say no, she, she didn't. didn't. That's the funny part, she just said, like, you need to talk to... Like, I need to talk to, like, her about this. Well, Ty, well, did you, did you tell your, did you tell your grand aunt that, uh, that you're, that, you know, uh... Your mom thinks otherwise and that like she wants to send you off to the military even though that's not what you want at all. Like I don't want to do that. That's the funny part about it that she that she keeps bringing up the idea about going idea about going into service and then basically saying that oh basically go in there 
doesn't mean that you have to fight the war. Like, no, at any case, case if there, if. She's, she's, she, she doesn't know crap about the military. I was like, oh, if you join the military, you won't, you won't, you're not gonna fight the world, but what the, what the hell? Like, like basically you know? saying that there's branches to where they, like, basically not the front lines, and that, oh, that they won't, they won't send you to war. No, if they needed to, they will. If, if, if there was a, if there was a chance for just like a, 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 a world crisis, most likely, 100%, you're gonna get set out in the field. Like most likely, I would get sent out to the field to the field if if I needed to if they needed to. Like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna go through that cloud training. There's not that. There's not that. Oh, it's not that. Like oh, they're not like oh, they're not gonna send you into the front line. Yes, they would. Yes, they would. If they needed me to, then they will. Then they will. And that's literally what I remember. What like what my cousin Kayvon said, and he's it, and he basically was in the military, and that's and he, and then yeah, he did sign up for the front lines. But the whole thing is, is that if they needed people, more people, within the front lines to fight, then they'll get other people from other branches, which means I would basically would end up fighting with it in the war if they needed me to and honestly I don't want to do that. Unless, unless if you have a unless if you, if you have a uh, a strive a strive for you know the military life, don't do it. If you don't have to strive don't do it. I feel like it's just gonna <clears throat> make retro go hard less and I don't want that. This is be a dead soul. Let's go. I don't know. Wouldn't be a, I mean, he wouldn't be a dead soul if you know if he had to strive or thing in a minute break. But if you don't have to strive, then yeah, it's gonna mess you up. Basically, keep on saying that, like, oh, but. Basically, acting like, oh, I'm going to live, like, oh, I'm gonna live. Like, oh, I'm going to live there forever. Like, basically, going to live with my aunt or my grand aunt forever. Like, no, that was not the case. To be honest, when it comes to, like, why does it matter? Like, does she want you to live with her forever? Or something? Because it sounds like, either way, she wants you to get your own place, so... I don't know why she cares if, 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 I don't know why she cares so much that, you know, you want to go somewhere else that, you know, she's not... You're not there with her, and then she's just gonna go, oh, you need to get a place and blah blah blah. Like, oh, you need to stop spending your money and you need to save, save to get a place. It don't even matter if I do get a place, because I won't be able to afford the place by myself. I won't be able to feed myself and pay my bills bills at the same time. Like, you're not going to be there. Because the way how the prices are now, you can't own a house by yourself. That's not possible anymore. It's possible, it's just... Yeah. Freaking, you better you better be rich as fuck like Mr. Beast in here if you think you could then own a, ho a whole house by yourself. Well, like, owning, well, owning, yeah, that's a different story, like, yeah, no. But, like, I don't know, I was talking about, like, like, renting. Like, renting, it's possible, it's just hard. But owning a house, yeah, you better, you better have some money. I don't know why your mom cares so much. One of my theories is that, like, oh, maybe because, oh, she wouldn't have someone, she wouldn't have another person to rely, rely on paying the bills. Kind of like Eden's face, how, how her mom relies on her. Like, every time when I bring up about the idea that, oh, not wanting to be in this damn state, she brings up any other alternative. Like, I do not like this state, I don't want to be here no more. 
have your just have your ban on uh talk to your mom. So I mean like it's not, it's not like it's not like your mom can say that oh no you can't do that because why she you're you're an adult. It's honestly honestly it's up to your grandma. If, you, if she gives you the green light then you can go. And it doesn't get, it doesn't matter what your mom says. No way we can beat him by attacking his shell. Let's try hitting him on his stomach instead. And if your mom wants to I don't know have issues with it, then she can go have issues with it. And then she keeps bringing up the I like the problem of like oh that me and my cousin Antonio don't get along. That was years ago. And the thing is, most of the issues that was going on with that house was between her and him. And she's making it sound like, oh, that most of the issues basically had to do with me and him and her. Like, no, it was mostly her and him basically having issues. That reminds me of how, weird, like, way back then, like, around, like, what was it, how many years ago? Like, eight? When I, when I just started living here, my mom didn't want me, my mom didn't want me around my cousins because my cousins, you know, you know how my cousins are, like, always doing weird shit. Mm -hmm. they, like, they like did like drugs and crap and then, like she was worried that oh I'm gonna get in like in the same trouble with them which obviously there wasn't the case. Cause for one, every time I went to my cousin's house, I just stayed at their house. If they were if they were to go somewhere, I wouldn't go with them. Like unless it's like to the store or something. But if it's like oh they're they're, they're gonna like, you know, some weird bad shit, I wouldn't go with them. And they and honestly they they told me themselves that they wouldn't they wouldn't bring me along either because of like you know me being impossible to anchor. Oh my God! Freaking fell. Hey Zed. But yeah, even though, even though my cousins did bad shit from here to there, they're still my family. I still wanted to be around them. Like, just... And then basically bring up the idea like, oh, that you could live with your, like, I could go with my um, cousin Kayvon, and that he would probably still help me with in terms of like learning stick shift and all that stuff and that he apparently was in Texas and he was with like my uncle Kevin for a little bit but I'm guessing he probably has like his own place again I don't know I haven't spoken to him ever since like oh he's been like going through some type of I guess he was going through some type of issues on uh to the point where where every time, like, what the heck? I almost fell and died over some dumb shit, but I. Uh... But yeah, after just like being screwed over with this, with this freaking, with this state too many times, I'm just like this. If I don't get this second chance, which most like with this job, which most likely I know I'm not, I don't want to be here no more. Basically. Like, 
Like, I bet North Carolina is cool, but at least within the area I'm at, it's not it. This small town in Williamston is, is not it. I, I don't want to be here no more. Like, I, I don't want to be here no more. And if they, there, if my mom is so hell bent on staying here, then that's fine. But I don't want to be here no more. Like, I'm tired of the bullshit here. I really am. Like, I, I can't do it no more. And then she keeps bringing it up, like, saying that, like, Oh, it was your mistake. You made you made a mistake. Yeah, one mistake. And that one mistake got me, got me let go. I don't get one more chance, even though this is not the first time one person has gotten a red card. One person... In the store, it has gotten a gotten a red card, but yet she still works there. She did didn't get really, let go. Did she really, she really blame you for that bullshit reason? Yeah, for that one reason, I got let go for that one reason. And at this point, I'm done with this state. I'm done being like getting a job and then being let go or getting some type of bullshit happening to me, like, and then having to go through the process of trying to get trying to look for another job and then having to wait for them to and wait for them to reach to me for about a good week or possibly a month I'm tired of that crap and then basic and then all of a sudden and then my mom get and then because of that and not having any money and basically having to wait to basically to um to basically get a job then my mom's gonna be talking about some. Oh, I'm but basically. Oh, you're in debt. Oh, bills and crap, crap. And then she'll be stressing me out about money. I don't want to be dealing with that anymore. I don't want to deal with that anymore. That it is. Makes me wonder. It makes me wonder how things were back then because it just seems like it just seems like that all. Like. Sounds like she just struggled a lot, and she's like, oh, you know what? Blah blah blah. And I guess she thinks like those times are, those times are like, you know, the same as they are today, even though it looks different. Nah, she thought that basically moving here to um, North Carolina was going to change shit. It didn't change nothing. There's still drama in this damn house. Hell, there was, dra there, there was drama as soon as we came back from the damn pan pantry between um, her and um, my stepfather. Nothing fucking changed. There was no point of even coming here. I like how he just was telling us a sub story and now she's like, oh, okay, like, this is all, like, happy now. She's like, oh, our people, our people suffered from, from this sugar war, and then next thing you know, she's just happy and I'm like, what the heck? And at this point, honestly, I don't care if I basically said I lived in North Carolina and in, the, and in this small town. It's not like I said my full address, and it's not like people can basically find my ass. My ass. It's not like I basically fully docked myself. I didn't. Like I'm not retarded. I might say I. I might say I'm fucking stupid, but hell, I'm not retarded. I forgot you're still streaming. My everyone's gonna be everyone's gonna be so confused of like. 
There's been a misunderstanding. I doubt if they'll listen to us. Everyone, everyone in the club is like, damn, there's a kid. I'm trying to send him to the milk. <laughs> that was out of pocket, Omega. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, what do you say? Okay, so I knocked the Rouge out of the ring. And then all of a sudden I hear Omega say, Oh, that's a load off my back. I'm like, Oh my god. That's your old teammate! That's your old teammate, bruh. Yo, these, bruh, I, these teams are out of pocket. And then freaking Vector calling Rouge abroad. I'm just like, yo, these teams are out of pocket. <laughs> <laughs> These teams are so out of pocket. We like back then humor and I was No one's just sensitive, like nobody can handle anything. Nothing at all. I was just like, this game, this this game couldn't be released. Like, this game could not be released. <laughs> this game could not. No, nah, not in this day and age. I honestly would be scared for Sonic Heroes to get a remake now. <laughs> Like, like, imagine they switched the black frogs into, like, uh, like, red frogs. Like, nah, this day and age, Sonic Heroes would, nah, Sonic Heroes would not, would not survive. Um... Like, holy shit, this game, like, these team, like, these people, are, these characters are so out of pocket, these, these teams are so out of pocket. I'm, I'm trying to figure out who's more out of pocket out of everybody in this game. No, no, because, no, because I can't, no, because, like, Team Rose were wilding. Like, Don't like, like, cream, 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 cream was like, those, those black frogs are bad. Like, she, and then she put so much power into saying black, and then, <laughs> and then he said Amy called, uh, Eggman a mustache monkey, like what? I was like, oh, hey, God. yo, <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> yo. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, I'll still look at this guy. Look at this <laughs> I would say the one thing that kind of pisses me off is a little bit is how my mom basically brings up like how like oh we had to sacrifice like our stuff to basically make bills yeah because the situations that y'all put yourselves into why do I have to sell my stuff for y'all mistakes oh here we go oh here we go with the oh I did everything for you and the sacrificial and the new life oh crap. my lord <laughs> oh. <sighs> Why do I have to sell my stuff for mistakes that are, that are not even mine? That's like, that's not fair. Like, I get if it was my my fault and then it, and if these were like my complete issues to where it's like, oh yeah, then maybe I should sell, sell my stuff in order to, but at the same time, none of this crap is my fault. I don't know why it was. All the issues that basically happened moving here, that's not my fault. That, no, I didn't even... Like, I didn't even want to move far from, like, away from family. I didn't even want to. Mm. 
Like it would be it would be one thing if like you were you were ungrateful and then she said that stuff, but it's not like you were you were it's not like you were ungrateful. You helped her and stuff. It's but, uh, uh, it's deep. It's deep. Hi. What's up, Army? Oh hi. Okay, so it's for right now. I don't know. Let's go. Oh, it's because we're in Undertale right now. What? We're in Undertale. Yeah. Thank you! Yeah, we're just in Undertale. It's a Oh my god, Yuki's excited because he wants that ginormous material. Oh, I'm like, they keep on trying to tell me, like, oh, you like you better sell your stuff. Don't, why do I have to sell my stuff because of the situation that we're in? That's not even my fault. Like, I mean, it's kind of concerning. Like, she's getting excited because she wants to find some ginormous material. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to the That is quite strong for you. That is quite good. Yes. Good. Is my game is my game too well for your stream? Uh, I might probably, but I don't think I'll get hit with a copyright strike. I don't think I would. I mean, no, it's not that. It's just like. You're playing a game and then out of nowhere you just hear and then you just hear Yuki going. <laughs> that is quite the intro for Yuki though. I just saw it. It's but insane. yeah, I would I don't think I would get a copyright strike. I don't think Square Enix would hit me with a copyright strike. Cause I think people oh, are streaming the game. Mr. Beast Burger. Oh, no, I wasn't worried about the copyright thing, and I was just not in. I didn't want it like the the sound to like interfere with your screen. I was worried about the Mr. Beast burning. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's another thing I don't get. It's like, oh, they. Like they want us to play, they want us to play, and then we're over here showing off the game so that other people can enjoy it and they could probably buy them too. And then they hit you with a copyright strike. Like, how does that make sense? Oh no, that's what game companies were doing back in the day. Like, literally, they didn't realize how much, like, how much advertisement it was when it came to YouTubers basically playing their games and stuff on their channel. They have no idea how much like how much advertised it was when it came to that. So then they just was just copyright striking people's like channels and crap. Like even Sega was doing it, and I, I honestly was surprised to hear that like Sega was like copyright striking channels back in the day. But like now nowadays they chill. They're not really doing that. And then when it comes to Nintendo. They were heavy on the copyright strike. They were heavy on the copyright strike. It doesn't make sense. Cause like the, the what I don't understand about when they copy, copyright should only be a thing if people are saying that oh this is my game and not their game, and then they, and then they and then uh, they make money off of it. That's when they should copyright. It just seems like they just don't know the definition of copyright. Like you should only do that if like you're making money off of your stuff and they're not they're claiming that it's their stuff and not yours Like I would say this that I didn't make this game, but I bought it and I'm playing it 
so mm -hmm. and That's the so footage cool. that I'm making of this game should be mine and not theirs because it's not like they're playing this game on stream right now and then and then like um it, and then there'll be times for like even when uh like when people are playing their game they even they even say themselves that oh try this game try this game out for yourself and out and they even put the links in their uh videos so that people can buy their games and they still get copyright strike Fuck it. I hate, I hate this. I hate this so much. I hate this so much. For one, this is, this is so, this is so unplayable. Like, this is so unplayable. Like, you can barely control the people in this pinball section. Like, oh my god. Like, I, like, if I was playing the GameCube version, it would be controllable. This, it would be completely fine. But now I'm playing the original Xbox version, and I'm and I'm struggling on trying to control control the characters during the pinball section in the uh, casino stages. We in love casino art. <laughs> and the literal mission is to get rings, and I ooh. I honestly don't remember how much t how much rings you're supposed to get, but we're I guess we're supposed to get a lot of got of rings. Doesn't it not? To, doesn't it not tell you like to like at the start of the stage? I'm like, I think it does tell you, but I was not paying attention because I was because we was busy talking because we was big, busy talking about the situation I'm in right now. Like, we was busy talking about the situation I'm in right now to for me to even pay attention to like how many rings I'm supposed to get to beat this level. <laughs> Which, I'm probably gonna take a long time to beat this level because the controls... Oh my. I'm holding left! Why is, why, is, why is SBO having a stroke trying to go left? about the thing about the games is like I like when they uh when they uh either spin dash or go into a ball or they do or they do a somersault and there's like a trail like a color trail behind them and around them <laughs> I honestly don't know how many rings I'm supposed to have. So I'm gonna just try to collect as many rings as I can and not get hit. Do you have to get the rings and leave the hole? Or do you just get the rings and then go in? I don't know, I think there's a total amount of rings I'm supposed to have in order to beat this level. <laughs> I was like, let me just use Vector real quick. If captured by that robot, if anyone is caught, we must rescue him by destroying the robot immediately. I would say though is that hopefully I find like a big amount of like enemies because Well damn I, I guess I collected the amount of rings that's required <laughs> like the, end, the mission just ended <laughs> How many? Oh it's 200 I guess they wanted me to collect 200 Insulting your training has been a waste of time
<laughs> Collect 10 casino chips? What? I don't know, I don't really remember that much with mm. Team Chaotix. I don't really... Uh, my brain basically just tries not to remember that much with Team Chaotix, because it's, it's just so... Because it's so weird! It's so objective based and it's something like... Leave this to me, boys. Yeah. Mm. Wait, Shota, are you done with your assignment that you sent once? No. That's not even... It's not due yet. Oh, okay. I'm just up here. Oh. Ooh, don't it's, do that. Um, <laughs> don't do that now. It's just... There's some assignment, some hit, project thing I have to do for like, I think, like, in two weeks, and I don't even know what to do, honestly. You have to create, like, six, uh, sketches. Uh, it's the the assignment is basically about how you can learn about the late like about the layouts better about the poster and the thing that I don't understand is what exactly you have to like like what exactly is the topic I I don't know what is the topic all I know is that you're supposed to make a uh, six sketches to the similar work that other students made before we're fine so much. I'm not even mad. I don't even know how to do anything that's art-like anymore. Like I used to be so good at it back then. I mean, I mean, I've seen like the works of other students where they created like you just have to create like six uh, thumbnails. It's not that hard. It's just like a simple. Okay, sketch. down here for no reason. Uh, it's not that hard. Mm. Really, it's just thumbnails. It's like, it's not so bad, bro. Yeah. Oh, it's not that. <laughs> so it's not that hard. It's not, it's that... not that hard. It's not that hard. It's not that bad, bro. It's not that bad. Just go for it. A seasoned artist basically saying that something's not that hard. <laughs> no, no, Reno. Reno, you should know that I st still struggle to draw a circle. <laughs> You should know this! Um, I guess, uh, I don't know. I'm... I... Oh, oh, I think I got it! I think I got what you're supposed to do! You're... I got it! I got it! I, got it. I, I know what you're supposed to do now. You what have to hell? create, like, six thumbnails, but each of them are... It's gonna be, like, based on, like, your there brainstorming. Were you have to there, were, there were two your casino chips back there, poster, Chief. There were two right? casino chips back like, there! Six thumbnails, and each of them is gonna be in like uh, different positions. Like for example, when you put like the logo or the um, title, it can be in a different position. I mean, it can be like in a different alignment. And the next thumbnail that you make, the text is gonna be in a different alignment. So it's like you're telling the teacher what you're gonna choose to make like a perfect poster. It's like, oh my god, I don't know. It's like, the thing is, I don't know if I'm gonna be that good at this. Especially when it comes to me actually getting to the drawing segment of this and thinking about what I want to do. But I think thing, even if you just make stick it. figures, it's fine. No! You have to oh give my the teacher the god, idea. I went over it. Hey, did I expect you to, uh, be put in, so in your, um, your thing? Your assignments? Um, I'm not too god, sure, honestly. Oh my god! You forget that everything doesn't have to be like... It doesn't have to be as good as like all the other students. It just has to be what you think would be great for your like idea of what you want to do. And so it's just sketching. And honestly, I don't know. I'm really... I don't know what I'm gonna do, honestly. Alright, we're gonna, gonna try this shit time. again. We're gonna like try I this shit as many times as I need like to. Oh it's like I said, they, they're not concerned about please, how please, you draw please. or sketch. They Mother just wanna see how you're gonna like... They just wanna see your brainstorming. Do you know, do you know what that is? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
I'm not. Uh, I don't know what to think of. To, like, I don't get what idea I can think of for my. For this. I mean, I think everyone else probably has one by now, but. I don't know. I highly doubt that. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, it'd be funny if everyone else was struggling with what they wanted to do. Chips. You mean potato but then again, I can't really say much. Chips, I don't know, because um, the whole theme of it is... Um, Come the fuck think, yeah, on! Yeah. Oh my god! Um, yeah, the whole theme is Christmas. Like, Disneyland during Christmas. And I don't know what to do. Because I, I haven't really been to Disneyland. Oh, okay. I'm not really a... Uh, I'm not like those people that go like almost every single day. Can you believe there's people that are actually like that? Yep, my cousins are one of them. Chip, you mean potatoes? Wait, they're like what? People that they they go to Disneyland a lot. Basically, they go. You guys have guys have you guys have Disneyland? No, we don't. They're not in Pakistan, right? But you just said that your cousins go to Disneyland. Oh well, my cousin my cousins are not in Pakistan. They go to the Disneyland often in Paris. Oh. Wait, is it Disneyland in Paris? Yeah. yeah I didn't know this either. There's one in Japan. I mean I bet the only the only lands that I know is the one here that's in California and then the one in the UK. Dang. Wow, this is quite pretty. I looked up on Pinterest to come across some pictures, and this is so pretty! What? <laughs> this is so pretty! <laughs> it's like, I wanna make... I don't know what to do for Christmas stuff. I can make like a... Uh, that's because my, my uh, professor, apparently he was like... I apparently he worked for Disney at one point. Thank you! Mm -hmm. Wait, Shota, what message are you trying to give to the audience? While you're making this poster, do you know like the message they told you to put? Or like the title thingy? Basically, the whole thing is just um... It's like a whole advertisement sort of thing where it's like I'm advertising to like, Oh, like, go to these new parks, they can do this, I got it, okay, I know what they're trying to get you to do. Yeah, I just got it. And be careful not to fall. Also, oh, shit. Thank you. Mom didn't do it for him. <laughs> I am. So there was a chip down here. I'm too bored to do my own assignment, so I'm doing his now. <laughs> oh, what the heck? Now I feel bad. <laughs> I like feel bad. Thank you. But yeah, it's just he said. Yeah, you need um. I mean, the proper idea of what you want, and also, it was weird too because I thought it was gonna be a group assignment, but apparently not. Because I think it was the first time he explained this assignment, he made us like all go into like random groups, and like I didn't even know who any of the people were, so they were just telling me, "Oh, you just talk to them." And see I'm holding left. Them. I'm holding left. I'm holding I, right. I, I'm holding right. What is these controls? I like how back then, like in elementary and middle school, I loved group projects. But when I hit high school, I hated group projects. Honestly, Sam, I had group projects in high school are not the same as like elementary and middle school. Because you can get stuck with people that don't want to do shit. And then you end up doing most of the work. And then they just oh get an easy grade. And then, and, then I, and then I would always get paired up with those girls who are like, like they don't care about school and they're probably sluts and they're like, oh my god, I don't want to do anything. I'm like, oh my god. Yeah. Oh my I, god! Oh my god! The freaking this game with this controls is so bad. It's so bad. It's so bad. This game is so bad. Like I'm just gonna be doing the work myself. Like I should be the one getting the credit here. And then and then like oh if I did something wrong they're like why and then they're like why why did you do that I'm like I I did something. <laughs> like at least I did something. Like, Fuck. Yeah, that's, like, yeah, that's like what I'm saying is like. They're over here complaining like Wait, they can play it when you base when you when you when it's not one hundred percent and that y'all got something wrong. And then they're and they're just like shit, at least I did something. What the fuck did you do? Yeah, like he was just sitting there doing nothing on your phone, like what the hell? Like, yeah, like at least I did something. Like actually oh my god, I don't know, it's it's a bit too much. Vector, there's a lot of them. Yeah, it's, it's, right. 
they weren't so good. I mean, that'd be unless you were, like, lucky and got some good people in here, but actually, you know, actually did well with them, but, you know, this is high school. What do you expect? I don't know what happened, it's like, oh, everyone was fine in middle school, and then I just had to make it straight to hit uh, high school, everyone is just like, they're either foul, or dead, or they're just obsessed with drugs, and like, what the heck, what the heck happened between 8th grade and freshman year, what the hell, they just did a whole 180 turn. Oh my god, the last chip was right there! And also, the worst part about the project... Which kind of makes it up, honestly, when it comes it's to me really having, thinking of Disney, is that I can't do anything. Oh, there was no chance. There was no chance. Copyrighted, basically. So I had to make it. I had to be inspired, apparently. Basically, inspired what I thought of. I mean, technically, you can do, technically you can do Mickey Mouse now. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, you won't get. You can do Mickey Mouse without Disney getting on your ass. <laughs> You know what's true? You know I'm gonna tell the professor that. Yeah, you, yeah, you can do, you can do, you can do the, um, you can do the old Mickey Mouse uh, style now. You, you can't say that to say that, that's public domain. That might as well be a good one, man. You know what, I'm gonna tell the professor. Domain, domain expansion. Oh, expansion. Uh, I'll not, accept your apologies and payment with your life. I just, I just, What's wait, can you do the new again? one? Oh, doesn't even matter because yeah, it's Mickey Mouse, like. Mickey Mouse, it's Mickey Mouse. It's like this Whoa, different, like, this whole dimension of Mickey Mouse. Like, what was his name? Like, Steamboat Willie? I don't know. Yeah, Steamboat. Steamboat, um, like, Timeless River. Timeless River. Here we go! Got it! Um. I remember, like, every time you would watch like a Disney film, you just see Mickey, you just see Mickey Mouse on the steering the boat, he's whistling. Mm -hmm. I, remember, I remember seeing that as a Star Trek Ralph, and it was different. <laughs> They, they tried making it like all April, which one of the things for me. This is boat. And then, I mean, this is at Disney, but um, I remember in Dreamers, um, movie, they would have the guy with the balloon. Like, going to the. I guess going up to the moon, and like, they'd have different ones in there. Like, I think in Dream Movie, I think, like, he ended up getting stuck. I'm not sure. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm probably not really. Uh, yeah, I don't really have to go to a class today since it's really just like a. Uh, it's really nothing important to it. And also, I'm probably just gonna spend the time to think about stuff. Dang, Retro, I, did, I, don't know how, I don't know how good the quality is of you playing Sonic Heroes on your TV, but like, on the screen... It's actually... Wait, what? Mm. Like, I don't know, I don't know how, like, I don't know how good it looks playing Sonic Heroes on your TV, but like, if you watch the stream, it, it looks like, like, the frames are smooth and stuff. Yeah, because I'm streaming in 60 frames per second! I'm streaming in 60 frames per second! Y'all basically get the good treatment! Well, y'all get to see like, me playing this game, like me, like it seems like I'm playing this game at 60 frames per second, but I'm really, but like, yeah, but the game isn't really 60 frames per second, and that the graphics don't really look that good but, in my end. Like, 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 like we get to watch it in 1080p, 60 frames per second, and Retro gets to watch it at like 104 frames per second. Yeah, it's like anything for the audience. Well, actually, no, because, like, the Xbox, I think that's, like, like, uh, 360p? Or a little more than that? But no, if you're playing the PlayStation, oh, no, you would you know, that would be, like, the five. It'd be, like, it'd be, like, it'd be, like, 60, 60p one frame per second. That would be so bad. 
I don't know, just the Xbox, it's crazy how that one just has it a lot better. Um... This it would be the same with uh, other games too. And then the GameCube is like... I think... Oh, okay. Is the GameCube 480p? I think... Should I'll send you the thumbnails on Friday. Uh, yeah. the yeah. or it's a little less than that. Also, I feel bad. I'm. Why? No, it's okay. I feel like I'm like. I don't know. It's not like you even asked her. She, she did it on her free will. I'm, I'm yeah, I did it on her free will, and I'm excited. I'm just like, what the heck, you mom? You can't even do your own assignments, and you're gonna be. <laughs> I don't know, but I mean, it's cool though. It's cool. Like, I like the. I mean, I think you for it. And I think you, Jamari, too. Jamari, I enjoy my major. You should know this. Oh, yeah, and also I enjoy. I thank all you guys, too. Cool. Moral support. Moral support. <laughs> Oh yeah, so I I got a fun thing. I'm gonna get Wait, how's your how's your bladder? Oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Can, yeah, you're gonna let me and make me explain my bladder on retro screen. Okay, well anyway. <laughs> All right, viewers, I'm ready. Dive. It must be like, dang, you got a black like, Okay, so like, well, for one, it's not even a bladder infection. I don't know what the heck it is. Let's go. Don't get too excited, boys. But I guess it's not as bad as it was yesterday. But it's still not good. Roger. I think your pee is stuck inside. I don't know. Damn. No. <laughs> my lord. Oh my god. Talk about his pee is stuck inside. Oh my god. But then <laughs> he talk about his urine is stuck inside that he didn't finish <laughs> using the bathroom. That's like well, him being. That's like him being constipated for from pee. Yeah. That's why I literally. Like, what the heck? This is being constipated from like P, I guess. Alright. I mean honestly though, I don't know, I was gonna say it was um if anything it's cool though. I thank you. Cool. And I thank all you too, because you know. Because, uh, you guys are all my buddies, and, but, uh, I love you for it, and also, um, yeah. I guess also, uh, Mr. Beast for sponsor. Which, by the way, I think that I've played... Oh! Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. It doesn't really look appetizing. Uh, the fries look fine though, I would say. The fries look like the ones you would buy at the store. <laughs> like the freezer kind. It's like, what are you doing? Quite a base. Awesome! They spared no expense here. Uh, those eggman's so, um, <laughs> I don't want I don't want my dad yelling in retro stream so <laughs> what 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 about your dad? I said I don't want him popping this woman just screaming and then that could be heard in your stream. Wait, why is he gonna be screaming? I don't know, like everybody's like pretty loud in my family. Oh no, no. 
Honestly, <laughs> it's honestly the same. Like I can't have one one moment where I can just have the silence unless like my unless like my mom goes to work or my lady is not home. And it's just me. And that's like the only silence I get. Other than if even the dog is home, which by the way, oh my god. My man SBO let's talk about some spirits unite! Like what in the world? Wait, wait, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> I tried to jump off the rail and I died for it. That's They're doing it. It's happening again. It's happening again. I'm trying to jump off the rail regularly and it made me switch. Christmas themed. Even, even though Christmas is like, I don't know why he, why he thought of Christmas though. I mean, it could have just been normal, you know, just normal Disneyland, but he's like, you know, let me put Christmas in there. So I mean, uh, low-level code, so, yeah, teachers just go with this and just, you know, uh, probably, you can say, like, uh, a holiday or some activity or something. Yeah, let's see. Oh my god, Vector, if you don't destroy this robot right now. I don't know, because, I don't know why, it's just I found it on because we were, like, we're currently like in March and you know Christmas is like I don't know <laughs> not a few months <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and also I think about it more and more. I would like to know how many times has the professor been to Disneyland? 
Yeah, yeah you can also in the past if like, you know, you are kind of friends with him. If like, you know, you know, so it's like a common question. Like, like, if I was in the class and I knew that he knows me well, so I would have asked him. They destroyed the rain. But the inspiration behind this topic, or like, you know, to make it more formal, maybe? Yeah, I found it really, um... The thing I did kind of like about it was that... Oh, wait, I'm still invisible! I'm still invisible! I think that I was so used to. Honestly, when it comes to like being like, oh yeah, like do it about me, like, you're like, you know, about you, do it about, you know, this and that. I mean, I kind of liked how it was you know, gonna be something, like just something I was like keen to like. Like I'm glad he just gave us a theme, just so everyone was doing the same thing and not, well, everyone doing the same thing basically, like same theme, and not doing some like different thing all in all. Like anything that comes to their mind, but it could be something in a non uh, well, creative, like non fiction kind of thing, so autobiography or something. But other than that, what they were disappointed about was the activity disorder. Like, oh my god! They had to, like, um, write, I don't know, I don't know the main gist of it, but like, what they were telling was that every single student. So like there, if there are 35 students in the class, they all have to write something about boss, like you know the, the smoky fog thingy going on like all around part of them, and even in some part of India. But like yeah, and they all were disappointed because they could have many more things to like you know, have an as an uh, idea, but like they all were told to just go with the same topic. The, the sad part is that it's gonna get boring at, go. at some point. Like, what the heck? What the heck? Oh my god. The same fog, so... Why? Like... <laughs> so I was like, yeah, there should be like different, you know, ideas. And the teacher was like, no, we can just go with the smog. So. And I'm like, yeah, that's kind of sucks. The smog, smog, smog. Yeah. <laughs> like, I know it's creative nonfiction, some kind of experience or something, because if it's like autobiographical, then yeah, it has to be some personal, you know, probably some beef with it. <laughs> but now nah, it's like a formal way. <laughs> so, yeah, I was like, there could be no so camera like, please, okay. Like, it's so di dry and dull, so why not, you know, a spring season, or maybe someone can write on winter i don't know like there are many other things in nature so, uh, even if you like you know if every uh, other student just give us a uh, solution so they can like do what just happened solutions. what just happened what is going on what in the world is happening but no roger <laughs> We made it. <laughs> we made it. Yeah, that class is like fun. Like I regret, kind of I regret it sometimes, but then sometimes I don't because the courses I have are fun too, and like they are of my interest. So I'm like, yeah, I'm good with it. Not bad. No complaints. Well, well, that's pretty cool, though. I mean, it's, yeah, that's cool that you're like pretty good at this stuff. Hmm. Um, well, so, uh, Mimon, are you still there? Uh, yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Just wait. I'm making a survey. Oh, uh, okay, because I was gonna ask for the. Um, if you. <laughs> hmm? Oh, bless you. Thanks. I was gonna say, was, um, wow, if you had, like, 
If by any chance you had any like nice gear. The secret weapon capsule. We found the capsule. I did get, get a boys. random idea. Like, you know, you know how um Okay, I just thought of like the like some logo background as like the Mickey like the moon as the Mickey Mouse Mickey Mouse like head and on the logo it says Disneyland and then I just thought of like a photography of like the building for Disneyland and it's decorated with um Christmas lights and stuff. Something like that. Oh, look. I'll take it. It's it's not too bad either. Here we go. Because um, the thing I just kind of thought was kind of be one of my struggles was not basically they didn't want me to get anything off like well basically like copy paste things from the internet right there like basically just the PNG. They wanted, yeah, like, they don't allow PNGs. They don't even allow us to use PNGs either. They told, they tell us to create our own. Even when it comes to photography, or drawing, they're like, no, it has to be your own. Yeah, it's just, it's so much to me because the, the, um, when it came to making like um, a promotional poster for like one of my cousins, it was like all me just putting PNGs and putting my own like different like lettering that I enjoyed. That would go well with it, and yeah. just to the point where I was like, okay, I'm just used to PNGs, and I don't know what it would be like if I would actually get to drawing like once yeah. again. There's so many years. The only thing I use is like the, you know, the text, uh, like the fonts. I usually just download the fonts and then I customize them, yeah, or sometimes I, I just randomly <laughs> rasterize the fonts. Yeah, that's what I did for one of my assignments where I do a download my form. I basically went with what I liked and it went really well because the fact that I used my favorite fonts and I liked how um, they had the they had the um, they had different ones in there, like there was like a whole website that had different fonts that I liked. I was like, oh wow, these are actually really nice, so I might download a few of these. And I just like yeah. made the thing like pretty well over here. Really dangerous here. Oh, okay, we're good. We're good. No, we're not good. We're not good. <laughs> we're not good. We're not good. We're, not good. we're, not good. we're losing weight. What if like you know you kind of like hide the PNG picture? Like is there a way like for an article to hide off about the list? We usually, you know, cite the source that we are taking the source, like where are we taking it from, and who is the actual author. This has to be the giant cannon's internal mechanism. Alright, let's go. Don't touch anything, Chami. Let's go. I'll take the left. Look in. Let's go. Here we go. I mean, I guess it be a panacea. Other than just tracing, which I, I don't even know if that is going to take us. We'll find too much. Tracing is one thing too. Is um Ooh. one thing I want to not really do much is trace because I mean yeah, it'd be helpful. Like, maybe like once I start tracing it, I might like get my back from like, thinking, oh wow, I can probably learn from like instead of just doing my own, do it. Like, just tracing. It, like, <clears> like what the hell, SPO? But the thing is, it's just like, I don't know. I feel like if I were to do something like that, I'm just taking something away that isn't really... Charming, this isn't a roller coaster ride. Yeah, it's just like, you know, it's just like, you know, it's just like, 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 it's just what the fuck? I guess the game didn't allow me to start. Just like I guess the game did not allow me to like Charmy. This game just just straight up said, "Oh, oh, you don't hate Charmy? How dare you? You, you should hate Charmy right now." Even though I don't, I don't really like Charmy within later games. Don't touch anything, Charmy. 
It's like, I don't know, I I just feel horrible for doing something like that. Just like, just plagiarizing, it's bad. Because the fact of doing something like that, I'm like, okay, yeah, this is bad, I can't be doing it. It's to the point where I feel bad and I'm like, okay, uh, I, there's no way for me to like, even do something that isn't mine. And would definitely get me caught for one thing too, because... Yeah, I'd be that really smart person and be like, oh yeah, I've seen it before. But it's just like pretty much like something that you took in a way. Okay, yeah, well you get an F. It's just something that I felt bad for. I'm like, I already knew it. So I was like, okay, now I'm not gonna do it. Let's see what's up there. I mean I've never experienced this, but yeah. It's like if I were to make a Mr. Beast thumbnail. Looking good. This is Vector's specialty. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. What can you say? Oh, I was gonna say it was um. Yeah, because when it comes to a Mr. Beast thumbnail, it's like, you know, it's just him smiling in the photo with, like, something going on in the back. He used to have his mouth open, but then he was like, that was a poor mistake. Yeah. Like, Nams basically wants to be a huge perfectionist when it comes to, like, all of his stuff when it comes on YouTube. Like, dude really wants to be, number like, number one. He wants to be the best. Like, he... Like, which I do count as him being the best, because I don't count T-Series, because I they bought their subs. Like, they they had to be bought, they had to bought their subs, ain't no way. I missed one of the freaking thingies. I missed one of the thingies. I missed one of the thingies. So one day my instructor was like, so you know, you guys wrote at the very first, you need to come up with a topic and for a topic you need a text or something and then he was inspiring us that how some of like previous researchers have also been suggesting on a painting and like you know the visual representation of art and you know probably some work off for uh, any of the artists so i was like look yeah that visual representation we just learned about it and then i had the time oh nice <laughs> you know like kind of do a visual representation for the genshin impact like it's not all the visuals and everything like I was dead serious about it. If you want, I can like show you uh, <coughs> a proper research proposal I made. And like I was so enthusiastic about it. So okay, so my my topic was basically a like, comparative analysis between what the fuck? And the other game tower. Oh of my god. To like you know do a psychoanalysis of the players of like uh, trying to find that. In like you know, 
they change their input. Is it like, is there a change in their unconsciousness after you play the music that they could be even, you know, from the Nope, not this time. Anyone? Not this time. Because these two were the new games, it was like the peak of 2022 when these two came out. And, you know, that is like all of the time, like everyone was freaking out about it. So I was like, why not? Like, it's like the new research and everything. So I was so down for this that I even, like, you know, I thought that if, like, if this would be possible, I would talk to the mod of both of these, uh, uh, like, the Discord accounts. And like the official pages for Genshin and Tower of Fantasy, I would like, you know, DM their mod or any of the admin over there, and, like, you know, tell them about my research so that I can, like, you know, do a survey uh, for uh, of all the gamers who are in the Discord chat and everything. Like, it was a fully, you know, researched kind of thing. I was ready for it. But then, in like the seventh semester i was like you know my my dream was crushed because one of my senior instructor who is basically um you can say an associate professor he told me that uh, well you know games and comic books and even tv shows are not allowed to be your primary resource for a research and i'm like uh, wait, wait wait like like I just had a friend. Like uh, she was just. That a is so bullshit that they didn't allow you to do no. that. Yeah, it, so that was only allowed for, to me for like a course, like for a research proposal, like you know, to learn and everything. They only allowed me to like work on it just for that, and I thought they allowed me to like you know do it, uh, uh do a full thesis on it. But like, no, they didn't. And in the end, so I was like, sir, can you please confirm it? And like, because my friend, uh, Aline, she is like, you know, uh, she she graduated already, but she did her research on Attack of Titans. Like her main resource <laughs> was the actual anime. And then she was quoting the manga as her secondary resource. So I was like, well, she just graduated and she just did it before me. Like, I'm, it's not my fault. I'm, I'm just one semester senior, uh, junior. And he's like, well, no, the HICA, I think that's the department who basically allow students to like, uh, you know, what the actual literature text is, which is like wrong. Like, it ain't that literature. We call arts literature, so like, why cannot this be literature? And then I was like so sad that oh my god, I was so happy about it, and like, look what ha what's happening now. And then uh, when the thing I was like, you know, kind of thankful was for like not actually starting to work on it, because then I would be like, my half of work is done and it's all to waste. Like, I, my time would have been gone so badly. So I was like, well, okay. At least I was told before time. And no, no not any, like, you know, not <coughs> any semesters or anything. Which was a good thing, but I was so disappointed. Like, someone make this. Uh, uh, also, like, it's also a. It's, like, are they not speaking English? <laughs> that was my main concern. Are they not speaking, like, language? If not even English, like, you call in literature all from all around the world. So, that is, like, in every language you can drop, uh, possibly think of, like, you got Japanese and Chinese and then there's <laughs> So yeah. That must be <laughs> that was a tragedy. But then I think now that I found a good topic. So it's like on a play because novels are my thing. Like I can read a novel right? if like I'm in the mood. But doing a research on a novel, I was like, you know, I would get bored of that. So yeah, it's the play of one of the other two writers. So I try to know, trying to find a confluence between the two of 
theory of absurdism and the theory of unconsciousness uh, in like you know if there is some you know connection between the two it's like what i think and what i want to do is that uh, the, the, you know the absurd is that uh, it? environment or the absurd uh, no, you know situation might be of uh, what's going on in our unconsciousness. So it's like a mixture of psychology and existentialism, which is like, you know, my cup of tea time is like right So yeah, I hope, I hope this was, it, it got a poop, which was like good, and I have already started working on it, I got a proposal and everything. So yeah, I'm, I'm positive about this, but like, Dang, the Genshin one was sad. <laughs> like, I was like, I've played it for two freaking years, so like, why not just use it with something good? And, and this is something good turned out to be, like, unethical? I don't know. <laughs> like, unacceptable for the, the old school literature, you know, teachers and everything on, and I'm like, to pick a topic that would attract like a lot of audience too and Roger. the thought of me basically going for topics similar to these would make me feel that um Pakistanis are just not familiar with stuff like this Target as destroyed. much so I was worried that I wouldn't get get to attract a lot of audience so I had to pick like a different topic that was Good more based on a social boy. issue that and that would also attract more. a lot of audience. Okay, so what no, more what? weird Our about this is that no, the, about the, the, you know, the genre of science died. fiction it's for the first time introduced in our university by one of our associate professors like uh, she has done her phd in this uh, uh, post-humanism so she was the one like like why is pakistan not making you know get through frog forest without getting detected by a frog you gotta be fucking me genre of english and like you know how it connects with every other genre and every other, you know, this romanticism and the, the literary movement and everything. So, yes, for, and I'm glad I'm like studying that course in my last semester. Because, like, I was so excited that finally, uh, a, you know, an actual educated professor is kind of doing something for for the actual like you know <laughs> learning and stuff instead of all the shakespeare and everything like okay so it's not all, always about shakespeare it's also all about the trauma theory literature and you know everything associated with post-colonial or marxism which is like you know all the history and stuff related to english so yeah this was something futuristic like 
like, even if you, like, there's so much time to say, like, my topic for the presentation was literally weird fiction. And weird fiction is something like, you know, uh, a gist of science fiction, but there is, like, this, uh, element of horror and mystery. So, though not every horror and mystery book can be called science fiction, but, yeah, you can simply like you know if there is this story stranger things was like one of my examples that it is counted as the weird fiction and then students were like how and i was like well there is this uh, up up down kind of figure i have not watched stranger things but uh so yeah there is this you know the ultimate world kind of figure thing which every like you know children in the town cannot see and the, some of them can and then there's the the the, the Millie Bobby Brown as you know the the Helen Sneezes kid so that power of supernatural yeah yeah that is yeah. <laughs> It was like, her name is Eleven in the show, right? Yeah, I, I was not sure about it, but like, yeah, I, I, I was like so surprised. Like, like people are crazy over that show. Like, even my sister was like, oh my god, it's a new season of Stranger Things. Like, in the past two months. And I was like, okay. And I never watched it. But and then, like, when I studied this weird fiction, I was like, damn, this is the Stranger Things. And then the, 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 the teacher was also, like, appreciating, like, oh my god, I've seen my family also going crazy over this show. But I never knew it was a weird fiction. And I was like, damn. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's like you're learning something new every day. <laughs> and you know, coming up with the most bizarre idea, I guess. <laughs> Bad thing. Bad thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I have this one course in my last semester. The existential literature so it's all about existentialism and absurdism it, i opted this course firstly because of my thesis and then secondly i was like well let's you know figure out something about the existential question because why not <laughs> <laughs> this was a new course for me too, like it wasn't introduced in our university before so yeah, I was excited about it and it's going pretty well like I don't know I find this you know just a hint of interest in uh, the philosophy but like not like the crazy kind of philosophy just something and, like I don't know I, I don't relate to it anyhow I'm just like kind of mostly disagreeing with what we say and you know the other these uh, cameo and then there's this satre whatever they are you know speaking like it's mostly a, like you know the godless figure kind of thing but at times I'm like they are so <coughs> pessimistic. Oh my god, like like they actually are so pessimistic. <laughs> like they are always like nah, this nothing nothing matters. It's all just dumb, it's all shit. And yeah, we don't exist. <laughs> and <laughs> Dude, who hurt you? <laughs> <laughs> It's like that with the stranger things. <laughs> 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 Oh my god. It was like facial expressions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I don't know why, but he, he looks I like work. from the facial expressions. <laughs> he looks like a little brother of Kiso. <laughs> <laughs>
like you know that energy is <laughs> kind of like is but I like he's kind of different because <laughs> like Kesa is just a, a, a very unique individual. <laughs> Well, it was a funny part of them. Yeah, why? The funny part about this is that they both collapsed. I thought I just heard something. Oh, oh. Here we go. Here we go. That's the funny part. I need to see that with you. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? <laughs> like, they both rainbow and they also both played on. Um... They also both. They both played rainbow and then both did like an IRL stream. Like, eh, let me send you in. I like the ending of like the video. We can use this ID to get to the other side. Tell you freaking back to just keep saying, hey, there's a frog over there. Hey, there's a frog over there. <laughs> you say. Just wait, just wait until you get to the black frogs. Yeah, and Vector keeps saying the same thing. There's a frog over there. There's a frog over there. <laughs> oh my god. He keeps saying the same thing. That's the only dialogue he has for the frogs. I like the ending of his stuff. Wait, I would give Vector this. At least he's not out of pocket. He's not being out of pocket. Well, he was still out of pocket towards Rouge. Like what, like didn't he call her like a bimbo or something? He's like, who's this broad? I was just like, hey, hey whoa, hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> like, I forgot how out of pocket these characters were in Heroes, like holy hell. <laughs> okay, now he says it's a black frog. I'm like, he's at least he didn't say black. He said black normally. <laughs> oh my god! Wait. The fact how he's like, I thought that everything, including chairs, and then tables, and then even the cameras would collapse, and he's so chill about it. Like it's an everyday conversation. Like, bro, he's literally roasting you. <laughs> 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 no, nah, it's, it's cool. I, 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 listen, I, you know, I hear this all day, every day, kind of conversation. <laughs> wait, wait, what happened? Huh? What happened? No, no, I was talking about this video of the, I don't know how to spell this J name, but him with Keiso, the funny moment. Oh yeah. my god. Oh my god. Yeah. You're showing her queso. Um, no, yeah, queso. about this queso thing. So he basically shared a video in the chat and then he asked if like I have heard his name and I'm like no, we show this dude like okay so I was scrolling on YouTube because like Daba was like with me. Yeah, we were, you know, watching different uh, you know, shorts on YouTube and then this guy came up all of a sudden, I don't know how, like, it was not kind of, you know, going on with the flow. And, uh, yeah, and he was all screaming and stuff. And I was like, yes, I have seen this face. It's T Rose. Oh, well, he is me. And since then, we just, you know, shared these moments. Are you telling me that Tabo was watching Peso? 
YouTube. Like if it's a day, they will have to wait. What the fuck, Amy? Sudden, like I don't know. It was from I don't know too much scrolling or what, because uh, we have never watched him before. Like I have not even. Like, I have not even watched a full video of his, you know, channel or anything. It was probably from too much scrolling or what. Because <laughs> this guy came up and started like, it, it was not what a dance kind of stream. It was just like dressed and, you know, trying to get the chat stress to. It is. Oh lord. Just keep hitting big. Just keep smack. Just keep hitting big. Just keep smacking big. Just keep, keep, just keep smashing big. I was like, okay, now I actually know this dude, and then so no, it's like you know he's sharing different more videos for about him, and I'm just like discovering him every day, kind of thing. So yeah. What? <laughs> they can and Amy's back. What? I mean, just because I don't know Jinxie and uh, okay, so just and it is all up to Charmy. It is all up to Charmy. Only a week before you asked me that you have actually watched him, and I'm like, not intentionally, but unintentionally, yes. <laughs> Uh, but, but yeah, oh my uh, fucking god, bro! Are you fucking? To pronounce them. Jinxie, but yeah, it's the name of Jinxie. Okay, we're just gonna. Okay, okay. yeah, now I'm in a misunderstanding. <laughs> but we can't back down now. Like the ending. I don't know, just like the video, the ending of the video that I sent before. Just keep using the tornado move, cause that just, just that's it's like working. Just keep using the tornado, tornado move, it's working. Yeah, it was kind of like... <laughs> See, that's why I say the tornado move yeah. is my strat, and I don't even know what happened last time to bring you die like that. Mostly when he's in the stream. Like, he is acting normal now, but... <laughs> in his, like, you know, in his own stream, he's, like, super excited about every single thing he comes across. And it's like, you know, a baby kind of discovering every new thing he comes across. Yeah, sure, mate. Okay, no, he's, he's fun. <laughs> like, he was just like, great flip on me. I have to look for keys. I have to look for 10 keys, Chief. Oh my god. What is this game? I think the keys are around here. What? Where? Here we go. Man said, what? Where? Freaking Vector, do you need glasses? You, you didn't see that big ass key? The world's turned upside down. Let's go. I'll take the lead. Here we get you two. Oh my god, I, I kind of want to know who's going to McDonald's on it. <laughs> I'm guessing it's gonna be my <laughs> <laughs> You know that fish head thingy where everyone in the comments was like, okay, that's, that's Keso's breakfast, or like, you know, that's his one meal. Yeah. <laughs> With the looks of those torches, they mark a pathway. I am just saying, I paused the video, but like, yeah, I'm gonna continue. <laughs> Oh, 
Nice, another key. Another key. I'm convinced that they both can be distant brothers. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, I did. They just started playing the first game and it's already so chaotic. Like a baseball, I think. But on a yard, you can pick. Everything in my room just went off. <laughs> oh, 
Hey, did you crash your game? <laughs> did you crash your game? I don't know what just happened. My <laughs> Xbox just turned off and then my TV just turned off. <laughs> What time? What time? It was a. It was back there so racist that everybody <laughs> shut up. <laughs> He's like, I was black, for and then everything shuts off. <laughs> Victor. <laughs> back. <laughs> That's all just just and, then, and then everything just shuts off. <laughs> <laughs> That's all just. Those <laughs> black frogs. Like, jeez. <laughs> And then Sonic comes out of nowhere. I'm Sonic the Kid now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, great clip, mommy. How the heck do I learn girl gold girl? How the heck do I? <laughs> oh. Okay, I think I think we're set. I think we're set. It's like I'm like cream on my gosh. It's like no black frogs are bad. Like what the? Then Amy just like stay away from those black frogs. Cream, you gotta stay away from those black frogs. I'm like what the heck? <laughs> Is that a Quetzal call? Call a Quetzal? Oh, so we need thunder and crap. Uh, oh crap! Do I have it equipped to these people? Lightning, 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 lightning. You don't have any lightning. Oh, maybe, maybe I should just give it to her because she has the magic. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't need that. That's not you.